all right welcome back in this section i'm just going to show you how to create a bullet material for this section so say you got now 19 parts of rings you got one rod and you got one base and you want to send this out to be made you want to let the customer know or the vendor know how many of these you need to be made and that's one of the reasons why a bullet material is chosen to in SolidWorks and it's really nice now I won't go this in too much detail in this section but I will click on bill of material over here and your bill of material section will come up over here on the left side there's a BOM and that's what bill of material stands for B uh, BOM stands for is bill of material there you can do top level only you can do parts only you can do intended only there's actually configuration section too we won't be going over this the part configuration grouping you can also have a couple options for those you can come down here to keep missing items the items that you have hidden uh, you can also start at one increment by one for example just the number that you want to assign your part okay and you can also use borders uh, your different borders different thickness of the borders and i'll show you why you need borders uh, so for example i'm just going to click on okay and it's going to say no current annotation views exist for this uh, orientation please select or create an annotation view i'm going to say just no area because i did not create any notes or assign any annotations just go ahead and click on okay and it will give you this box now i don't have anything clicked it's just allowing you to place this uh, anywhere on the part so if you click on this now you're able to take a snapshot or print this screen along with the bom along with the bill of material that tells the customer or the vendor that how many parts are in this assembly for example i'm going to move this, uh, you know go back go inside of it now i don't have any description selected uh for these drawings when i made them that's why the description uh, section is gone but there's a part number the part number is really just the name of the part you can actually double click it and it will say you can keep the link you can break the link if you want to between uh, that and the part so you can change that to uh, basically if you keep the link whenever you change this to a number so a part number it will change the part name to the part number as well if you break the link it will just assign it a part number but the part name will remain base so that's the difference between keep link and break link all right on the right side there's a quantity so i have one base one rod and 19 rings and it also numbers them one two and three why is this useful because when you're using the exploded view button you know or the ballooning which we'll go over a little later um the ballooning section it also balloons them as one two and three and allows you to identify which one is which using the bill of material 